Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, in Maven, do we have to manually download and configure or update the required jar files in the Maven projects? The answer is simply no. We don't have to manually download any jar files or copy them into our project and configure them to use those third party libraries. Okay. Rather, Maven will automatically download the jar files for us and automatically configure the jar files for us or libraries for us in the Maven projects. That will happen how? With the help of dependencies. Okay. So we have some websites like MVN repository website where we can simply go and search for the required library and we'll get the dependency tags of that particular library and you copy the dependency tags, come to the Maven project, go to the palm.xml file, add the dependency tags of that library that you copied from the Maven uh, MVN repository.com and just save the project. Your library will be automatically downloaded and configured. The jar files will be automatically downloaded and configured in the form of libraries. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this answer for you so that it will be more clear for you. Okay, so for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this sample, mm, this project, Maven project this is. And in this project, uh, what I'll do is I'll simply close all the files. And in this project, we have this form.xml file, open the form.xml file. And uh, in that, you will find this dependencies uh, tags in the form.xml file. In between the dependency tags, you have to add the dependency tags of the required libraries, whatever the libraries you want, okay? For example, I would like to add the dependency tags of TestNG library. I'll go to the MVN repository. This is a website, mvnrepository.com. Search for the required library, that is TestNG. And in search, you got the TestNG, org.testNG, TestNG. Click on that. And uh, go with the latest version at your time. When I am recording this session, I have the 7.8.0 as a latest library. In your case, uh, it may be another library. Just click on that library. And copy this uh, Maven dependency tags, come back here and paste it. Okay, that's it. Tap just to organize. And once the moment you save this here, Maven dependencies kind of uh, folder will come under that this library will be there. Okay, just save this. You will see a kind of folder coming up in a while. You see Maven dependencies folder came and under that you got the TestNG library. Now, if you want another library, let's say, okay, not only TestNG, is one of the third party library, you got all the jar files in the form, okay, to get that library. And they're configured also in this project automatically. And apart from that, you can also get any other library. For example, if you want Selenium Java library, just select, search for Selenium Java, go to this, take the latest version, copy this, come back here and paste it. That's it. Now tap, now save this. That's it, you'll get the Selenium Java libraries in a while. You see here, you'll get Selenium Java libraries in a while. You see Selenium Manager, Selenium Java, everything came, okay? Like that, how many libraries you want, that many dependency tags you get from the MVN repository website, you just search. You want JNet, search for JNet. If you want PoI API, search for PoI, like that and so on. And copy the dependency tags. Come back to the pom.xml file, paste them. The jar files will not be automatically, just not automatically downloaded, but also they will be configured automatically. Everything will happen automatic way. You don't have to manually download these jar files from the official websites and copy them here and configure them here. There is a hectic process. So rather simply add them to the form.xml file, automatic download and automatic configuration will happen. And you can simply, in your uh, files, you can simply use them, okay? You see here, TestNG library is already there. It's using, it's fetching. Here you can write the Selenium. If you want Selenium library, if you want, uh, for example, uh, we can write WebDriver, WebDriver, uh, driver is equal to new Chrome driver like this. You can write for the mouse on the web driver. Since the library is just now added, you should get the suggestion. Let me hover it properly. Sometimes it will not come. It will take a while. Let me hover it again properly. You see? I'm not getting, but uh, in case if you're not getting, do one thing. It's suggesting me to go for a web driver decorator. This problem may sometimes occur for some people. Anyhow, it occurred to me now. So I'll say fix project setup and here select uh, this one. Okay. Selenium HQ and I'll say, okay. That's it. You see, our web driver got imported over the mouse. Import this Chrome driver also. Just fix the project setup. Sometimes it may happen. Okay. 
otherwise it's not required you see i'm able to use the selenium library i'm able to use the test library and all the stuff okay i don't have to manually download and configure the jar file simply add the dependency tags of the required libraries and uh, copy those dependency tags from the mvnrepository.com website and paste into the bomb.xml file under the dependency tags and just save the project your jar files that is uh, required libraries will be automatically downloaded and configured for you so hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session thank you bye bye